Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles, where I'm continuing to bring you the puzzles from the World Puzzle Federation 2015 Round 5. We're getting close to the end now, but now I'm going to show you a diagonal consecutive Sudoku, which is another constraint I've never seen before. I love these old puzzles. And now we're jumping to a puzzle called U2. I didn't notice the last one, whether it had a U or not. I don't know what, the num what they're trying to put into the grid here, but I find it really, really cool that they've done something thematic with the grid. Um, um, so this puzzle was worth 45 points, set by, of course, by the Serbian setters, and this one was set by Zoran Tanisic. So, um, yeah, back 10 years ago. I love that these are 10-year-old puzzles um, and that they're still providing a lot of really wonderful entertainment. So, um, yep, link below to this puzzle as well to the entire World Pe F Puzzle Federation archive. Let's have a look at the rules. So we've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And all pairs of diagonally adjacent cells containing consecutive digits are marked by a line. This means that all diagonally adjacent cells without a line cannot contain consecutive digits. So those digits could not be consecutive. Those digits could not be consecutive. Those digits could not be consecutive. Yeah, interesting. I've not seen a diagonal consecutive constraint like this before. I'm going to restart my puzzle, the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So I can see that six can't go in any of those or any of those. So six is actually right here by Sudoku. Um, and two is in one of those two, but a two here would be consecutive with the one. That doesn't work. So this is the two. Um, what else can I see? Uh, three is now is right here by Sudoku. Let's put this triple in, shall we? Because it's one, two, three, because I've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, and this can't be a three or a two because of the two and the three in the box. Let's not worry about the consecutive. And this is a two, three pair, which I can't see what to do with yet but I will get there. Um, I can see that six is in one of those two. I probably want to be looking at the consecutive constraint a bit more. I can see that two is in one of those two, and I don't think that... That means this can't be a two. Uh, no. No. I'm not sure what's going on here. If this was a two, this would be a two. If this would be a two, this would be a three. I think that works. One is in here. Um, by Sudoku, but that doesn't force anything because unlike normal con um, consecutive, which would mean I couldn't put one in any of those, I could put one here and make this two, and I could put one here and make this two, or I can put one here and make this two, or I can put one here and make this two. That all just works. So it's not as constraining as normal. Two in this box... Yeah, I've, I've got to wrap my head around this. I've not seen this before. F ah, here we go. Four. Four is not in those, and four is consecutive with five. So this is a four, and these are not one, two, three, four, five, six. These are seven, eight, nine. Now, six is consecutive with seven, so that can't be a seven. No, I'm not getting it yet. Four is in one of these. These are one, two, three, four, aren't they? Because five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are one, two, three, four, and this isn't two or four. So this is one or three. This can't be a one or a three, because if this was a one or a three, it'd be consecutive with the two. So this is two or four, which means that can't be three, because if it was three, it would be consecutive with whatever that is, which is two or four. So that is the two. That's not the two. That's the two. The two means this is the four. And that's not doing anything yet. Well, it's making this the three, which means three is not in any of those. So three is in one of those two. Do I want to look at seven in this box? Not sure. What are these four digits? One, three, four, five. Now, I can't put one or three next to two. I can't put three here at all. I can't put one here at all. I can't put four there because it would be, oh, and this can't be five because of the six. That's not, that. that is a four and I can take four out of those. That puts four in one of those two. This is a little bit weird to wrap your head around. The six means this can't be a five. That's the one, which means this is a three, five pair. 
which means five is in one of those two. Now, I haven't used the positive on this yet, and I can, because if this was a one, this would have to be a two, and it can't be. If this was a two, this would have to be a one or a three, and it can't be. If this was a three, this would have to be a two or a four, and it can be a four. And if this was a four, this would have to be a three and a five, and it can't be. So this is four and three. There is no, well, the three looks down making this one, which looks up making this two, which means this has to be one or three, and it can't be three. This is the one. Ha ha. Deductions. Five in this box. Not sure. Now these are six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to mark those because I can't put eight or nine in there. So this is five, six, seven, eight, nine. nine, nine, nine. This can't be a seven because it would be consecutive with the six. This can't be eight, it would be consecutive with the nine. So this is six or nine. Do I want to look at this column? Because I've got one, two, three, four, five. So these are six, seven, eight, nine. So that's a six, seven, because it can't be an eight, nine, which means that's the nine, that's the eight, and I can take nine out of those. There must be an eight in one of those two. But this is a triple, four, six, seven. And I can't put four next to the three. So that's the four. This is a six, seven. I'm liking this one. Two, these are three and five. And I can't put three next to the two. That's the five. That's the three. Is that doing anything? Yes, the eight. Uh, this could never have been a seven because it'd be next to the eight. That's the six. That's the seven. That takes seven out of there. This is an eight, nine pair. That's a seven. Don't see how to resolve that eight, nine yet. Am I looking in the right place? Don't know. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine go into those. That one can't be a five because it would be next to the six or the four. That one can't be an eight. Don't know. One is in one of those two. That seems okay. Two is also in one of those two. That is a one, two pair. Huh. So this is an eight or a nine in order for the row to be complete. If that's a nine, that's an eight because these are consecutive. And if this is an eight, this would have to be a seven or a nine and it can't be. So a seven. So this is an eight, nine pair. So one, two, three, four. These are five and six. Is there a trick I can do with those? Yes, the three means that can't be the two. That's the one. That's the two. Can I take that any further? Not obviously. Unobviously, maybe, but it's not obvious to me. Where's one in row six? Because I've got two ones looking down. So one is in one of those two, but that one is eliminating that. So that is a one. So I've got one, two, three, four. I need to put a five in this box. So these are five, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to put them all in. There's no nine in those. Five, no, that doesn't mean a thing. Seven means that can't be eight. Eight means that can't be nine. That's the eight, which takes eight out of there. And there's no eight in either of those. Five, seven, and nine are all odd. So they're only next to even digits that it would matter. I don't know if thinking about that this way is going to help me or not. Maybe. So these are three, five, seven, nine. Three, five, seven, nine. I can't put three or five there because they'd be next to the four. So this is a seven or a nine. This, well, no, five, nine actually means that these can't be five, nine. So these were three, seven, and the three makes that the seven and that the three, which means this is the five, this is the nine. I could have used the five, seven for that to make that the three. Right, lots of options here. That's not the three. These are actually four and eight. And not seeing it. If it's there, I'm not seeing it. It's probably there but I'm not seeing it. One, two, three, four, five, seven, nine. So these are five, seven, nine and must contain a nine. This is a pair though. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are six and seven. 
So this is five, seven, nine. So this is five or seven. If, wait a minute. So it's five. Because this is six, seven. And this is five. No, this isn't five or seven. The seven makes this five and this seven, which means there's no seven here. This is five, nine, and this is an eight. That's where I went wrong, or could have gone wrong. The eight means that can't be a seven, that's a six, and that's a seven. The six means that can't be a five, that's a nine, and that's a five. The seven looks across in row two, making that the six and that the seven, which means there's no seven in either of those. This is a six, eight. This must be consecutive. So it's an odd digit, it's five, seven, or nine, and it's not seven or nine. That's a five, and the only thing consecutive out of six and eight is six. So this is the eight. The six looks down, making this the five and this the six. The five looks up, making this the nine and this the five. Don't know. But the eight looks down, making this the nine and this the eight, which looks across, making this the eight and this the nine. The eight looks up, making this the four and this the eight. And now I'm down to a single box, which even Brimster should be able to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are two and four. And the two is looking up, making this the four and this the two. Yes, pencil marking like that slows me down, but I think it's easier to fit for people to follow on video. And I would much prefer to be clear than fast. The seven, nine looks up, we're removing seven, nine from there. So that becomes the one. And then I'll use that seven to look up, making that the nine and that the seven. 10 minutes for a 45 point puzzle. Okay, I'm really happy with that time. Like, I can't believe I was that quick for a 45 point puzzle because it would normally be four and a half minutes for world champions and nine minutes if you were like really trying to be competitive, like to get on the board, like in the top sort of couple of hundred, which I don't consider myself to be in the top like thousand solvers in the world. I just don't. Um, so yeah, I think I'm doing okay. I'm having fun with them and that's a win. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. I think there's only one more in this set. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Thanks everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.